Today is vlog day 1037. find a Chemex, so Mr. Coffee will be the next best thing. Good morning. I don't know how this is, I'm not, we're, we're figuring out the setup around here. It's a really windy day out there today. It's really nice. The weather is taking a, a very pleasant sunny turn. It had a dramatic difference to the surface of the lake. Lots of chop, lots of white caps, which is really nice and just chilling. We had a good morning this morning just sitting and talking. It's a good father son time. He's sitting right there because he doesn't want to be on camera, but he wants to see the unboxing process. So <clears throat> feel free to say things if you want as you go. What is this? The question is, Oh no, this is from Martin. Martin ordered this for me. I was gonna say, I don't remember getting, I don't remember getting, I know what, no, this is. I know what that is for sure. I'm not sure what this is. Oh, I think I know what that is. Okay, I think I know most of what's gonna happen here and what we're opening. And I wanted to open these sooner because of what's in here. So we can start with this. What I got for myself, I was debating doing this for a long time. I really wanna shoot some, like some portraiture with like a 50 millimeter lens. But because that is a crop sensor, uh, I have to get something that's an equivalent. About 35 millimeter lens should do the trick. And that is what I got. The Sony brand 35 millimeter uh, 1.8 prime lens, which should be pretty fun. And then a polarizing filter that came with it basically for free. I'm really looking forward to putting it on the camera. We can try that. We'll try that here in a, let's try it right now. Ooh, it's so small in comparison to that one. How's that? It's so nubby. It's so nubby in comparison to this thing. Am I still in frame when I sit down? Perfect. The lens cap is too small for this lens, so we'll just... Thanks, Dad. And we'll try the polarizing filter when we go outside, see what that looks like. It would not work very well in here. Okay, Ooh, and the hood. Don't wanna lose the hood. There's a little camera pile. Now, Martin sent me a couple things. These are both from Martin. Martin sent me stuff also for the camera, where it's very camera-centric here to start. I don't know, remember what, I don't remember what this one is though. What is this? I was gonna say batteries. Oh, what? Oh, oh, okay. I think I have an idea. Okay, so basically what he sent me, let's open this guy and we'll see if we can figure out what, how this all fits together. What he sent me was the camera clip for my backpack. So the idea is I can put it on the bottom of the camera and just put it on my backpack, which I'll have to show you. I'll have to film that with my phone, obviously, because I can't film that with, with, my, with my camera. Okay, hold on. Aha, okay, here we go. So, this is the peak design. It's like basically a belt clip that you can uh, that you can attach to your, your bag or to your chest right there, which is exactly what I'm gonna do with it. Uh, shortly, ooh, look at that, schmancy. A plate on the bottom that's just like a tripod plate that you screw into the bottom of your camera and then you can slot it into this guy and this guy you can attach to your belts or to your bag. We'll put this together here shortly. Continue the camera pile going and this somehow I think he was saying that he's gonna send me something that modified it so that I could actually still use it with the tripod that I have on the bottom of the camera usually. We'll figure it out. This, I'm not excited about this one really, to be honest. I'm, I'm pretty sure I know what this is. This is from a Kickstarter that I backed like years ago for a game. Uh, ooh, I got my little coin here. It's like a card game, uh, like Wizard School. What is it called? Yeah, Wizard School. It's Wizard School the card game. Somehow, I feel like I'm missing something though. I feel like this is like an expansion pack because I thought that it was a board game? I don't know. We can try playing Wizard School later if you're interested in playing some Wizard School. Hogwarts. Yeah. I probably should be more excited to have finally gotten that, but I'm just not. I'm just not. All right. Uh, if any of you have played Wizard School out there and you enjoy it, you can tell me all about it, I suppose, in the comments below. Congrats on the 30,000. Cheers. Thank you, Gonzalo. I really appreciate it. Thank you, Gonzalo. This is a watch. 
So many of you know that I've, I'm not wearing my watch, you may have noticed, but you probably know that I've been complaining a lot about my Samsung gear because I hate it. It's uh, mostly because the, the watch, the hardware itself is really nice, it's comfortable, it looks good. The software uh, stinks. The Tizen operating system, it's miserable, I never use it. It might as well be a dumb watch because I have it in airplane mode permanently. I guess it's more annoying to have and to use than not. Thankfully, uh, Gonzalo took pity on me and he said that he got one of these extra tick watches which runs off of Google's Wear OS, which I had nothing but love for back when I had a Wear OS watch. Uh, and since he had an extra one sitting around, he offered to send it to me. Very kind of him. And voila. Nah. I mean, it's a nice, it was a nice presentation. It just, uh, just kind of, just kind of stops at that point. Hold on. Probably just pop this out. There we go. Ooh, the band feels silky smooth. It feels really nice. So definitely a different style and look, it's much simpler. And then uh, I think we just probably need to charge this guy up and I can tell you all about it once, I, uh, once I'm wearing it. Thank you so much for sending this. I'll figure this out and get back to you. In the meantime, uh, we're probably gonna go for a stroll here. Maybe go get some Mexican food for lunch. That's what I'm uh, lobbying for, but I'm happy with whatever we end up eating. And try to find some bald eagles that we can shoot as well, because there are a bunch of bald eagles around. So I will clean up this mess and uh, and probably try these things out and we'll see what we can get with the uh, 35 on the camera there, see what we can shoot and uh, go from there. Thank you to Martin and Gonzalo for sending me these wonderful gadgets. Really excited to try the watch out. Really also very excited to try the camera clip out and see the capture. It's called the Capture Camera Clip by Peak Design. Looking forward to trying it out because, especially for the return trip home, really nice to save a little space in my bag and just clip my camera onto the front of my, uh, onto the front of the strap when I'm going and possibly could change things as far as going around and filming on a daily basis on the running and gunning for my vlog. Just pop that, I just did something to this. Thanks guys. Anyways, it's been an unboxing. Dad, was it like Christmas? Woo! My dad was enjoying it in the corner there. He's smiling at least. And uh, yeah, very on. <laughs>
I got even something. Oh gosh, <laughs> did you hear that? I heard it. The house is expanding and popping a lot around us. It's kind of interesting with the, the sunlight directly coming onto the, coming through the windows, I guess. Kind of interesting that it waited until the sun was lower like this before the, the, the house started heating up and making noises and popping and stuff. But we're gonna go and have dinner. It's been a chill day, hanging out at the lake, chatting, playing some cards, napping a little bit, and reading a lot of Calvin and Hobbes. They have the complete uh, collection of Calvin and Hobbes here, which has been great, and I haven't read Calvin and Hobbes in a long time, and I love it, and it's got the most interesting intro by Bill Watterson, the creator, who never gives interviews, and it's hard to find him, like uh, him explaining his own career and where everything went anywhere, and so it's really fascinating to read that here too, so that's really cool, but yeah. We're gonna go grab dinner. Uh, I think I'll leave you here. I'll see you tomorrow morning for the return trip to Spokane. Until then, adios.